Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know. President Ivanov delivers New Year's address. These are times to remind ourselves that we should never underestimate what we have, to respect what we gain, both in the home among our close ones and in the place where we live and work, as well as in the country as a whole. President George Ivanov said in his New Year's address, Our responsible behavior gives us the basis to demand that others act responsibly towards us as well. Differences and divisions must not distract us from state interests and strategic goals. We need unity and togetherness for a successful and prosperous Macedonia, he added. According to him, all citizens of Macedonia should enter 2013 with optimism, power, rationality, dignity and honor. That is the only way to achieve our goals. I believe Macedonia will be there where it deserves, he added, wishing the citizens a happy new year. Katlanovo Vele stretch fully repaired. The reconstructed stretch of road Katlanovo Veles in length of 27 kilometers, which is part of the motorway Alexander the Great, was put into operation. The investment of 7,3 million euros was completed within 16 months. Prime Minister Nikola Gruevski noted that the Katlanovo Veles motorway is one of the most frequented roads in Macedonia, part of the Corridor 10 which had been last reconstructed in 1985. The Prime Minister announced that next year a reconstruction on another stretch of road from the Veleskopje motorway has been planned, which is also in a rather poor condition. Opposition bloc stages protest outside Vomaru Dupamana headquarters. The bloc of opposition parties, led by Sudasam, staged a protest outside the Vomero Dupamana headquarters in the center of Skopje. We have been held hostage by Nikola Gruevski for seven years. There is no government in Macedonia. There is no prime minister of a country. In Macedonia there is just a prime minister of a party that rules dictatorially, adopts a budget like smugglers and uses force against everyone who thinks differently. So the summer leader, Branko Cervenkovsky, said. He added that the opposition will organize an open parliament in Skopje and the other cities as of Wednesday, where the citizens, intellectuals, NGO representatives, opposition members and everyone else who wants to warn the people can voice their stance. So the summer leader delivers New Year's address. In his New Year's address, so the summer leader Branko Cervenkovsky said he wished he could tell the citizens that the worst was behind them, that the situation would improve and that Macedonia was on the right track. However, I would be lying if I told you that and you would know that it is not the truth. What is the truth? That life is hard and that, unfortunately, it will be even harder. That they are leading us as people and the country towards an abyss. That they suspended a constitution and a law. That they killed the freedom of democracy in this country. That Macedonia is definitely not a normal, legal and democratic country, but a party police regime state, he points out. According to him, now is the time for the citizen to show they have the potential and capacity and show they deserve a free and democratic country in which all people will be equal. PM Gruevski gives presents to children. Prime Minister Nikola Gruevski, accompanied by Minister of Labor and Social Policy Spiro Ristovsky, on Saturday wished a Happy New Year to children without parents or parental care from SOS Children's Village and the 11 October Center. Handing out presents, he wished them happiness, joy and success in the future. The children expressed their gratitude to PM Gruevski for being, quote, the man who cares the most for their present and even more for their future, end of the quote. I wish you in 2013 to be very happy and joyful. Your obligation now is to study, to acquire knowledge in order to get an employment and lead a successful life, Gruevski told the children. Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know.